So today I stumbled across a pretty insane tweet like usual, but really the crazy thing about this wasn't even the fact that like there are crazy people out there like this, but the fact that 40,000 people like this tweet. 40,000 people thought that this was an intelligent thing to say, bro. Like there's always going to be a couple of whack people here and there saying crazy shit and like none of that stuff really surprises me, but like 40,000 people is a lot of people, okay? That could fill an entire stadium. There's 40,000 women out there and probably men too that agree with this shit, bro. Like it's actually black pilling, bro. I'm not even gonna lie here. I mean, like, this is insanely, insanely black pilling. Cheating on your girlfriend is obviously bad, but I think cheating on your boyfriend is sometimes understandable and, dare I say, even good for society. Bitch, why are you talking like you have guys all over you, okay? You literally have to hide your face under a Dunkin' Donuts cup and three filters. Your boyfriend probably broke up with you because you're fucking ugly, and now you're on Twitter whining and bitching to a bunch of fem cell feminist dating strategy girls, and oh my god, cheating on your girlfriend is obviously bad, but cheating on boyfriends is good for society. Society. Bitch, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, you were probably dumped, okay? What do you mean? You would actually have to be in a relationship to even be cheated on. And I know that because you wouldn't be tweeting on Twitter about how much you hate men, okay? You would actually be in a relationship and you'd be happy. You would not be whining on fucking Twitter and Reddit about, like, how bad men are. Like, you literally have to fucking hide your face under a Dunkin' Donuts cup, okay? Girls who are actually hot don't have to do that, okay? They don't have to hide their face behind, like, five different filters in a Dunkin' Donuts cup. They show their face, bro. Shut the fuck up. Sinner says a lot of women actually cheat in an attempt to get out of their abusive relationship. That literally makes no sense, okay? Why would you cheat on an abusive person? Wouldn't that make them more abusive? Like, how does that make any fucking sense, okay? Like, wouldn't you call the cops or something, or wouldn't you, like, call some sort of authority instead of cheating on them? That kind of behavior would make somebody who's abusive way, way more abusive. And yet again, hiding your fucking face behind some art piece of a more attractive woman. This was a feminist dating strategy meetup, man, okay? None of these fucking bitches are hot, okay? Get that out of your head. All these fucking bitches are ugly, so never take any of their opinions seriously. They are not good looking, bro. More times than not, the man deserves it anyways. What the fuck are you doing, bro, okay? What are you doing, man? Why are you simping for ugly bitches, bro? No, I kind of understand simping for hot ones because at least they're hot. At least they're like 10 out of 10 or something, but like, you are simping for probably 3 out of 10 femcel redditors, okay? That's what you're simping for, bro. What the hell? Women life freedom says equal rights, equal fights. We got a lot of catching up to do on the cheating ladies. What are you you mean, bro? I mean, honestly, probably men and women cheat equal amounts, but I would not be surprised at all if women cheated more than men. So, like, I'm not really sure what you're talking about here, but whatever, man. Honestly, really feeling this tweet tonight. Not gonna lie, bro. Trying to fight off the urge, but sometimes it's fucking hard, bro. Sometimes it's just really hard.